Fox News. Non-lawyer Donald Trump announced that Attorney General Bill Barr has all the stuff he needs to prosecute Russia investigators, particularly former FBI chiefs James Comey and Andrew McCabe, and whether that happens or not will determine whether he goes down as the greatest attorney general in the history of our country or as just another guy. The Senate Intelligence Committee just issued a bipartisan report which as the New York Times put it, laid out an extensive web of contacts between Trump campaign advisors and Gremlin officials and other Russians, including at least one intelligence officer and others tied to the country's spy services. But the opening of part two of Laura Ingraham's interview with Trump featured the girl baby in chief whining about his victimhood, followed by the not-so-subtle pressure on Barr. Trump, I was investigated practically from the time I came down the escalator with our great first lady. I was under investigation, and it's a disgrace. And it should never be allowed to happen again. Ingraham, speaking, yes. Trump, and I say this openly. Bill Barr can go down as the greatest attorney general in the history of our country or he can go down as just another guy, it depends. They have all the stuff. You don't need anything else. You know, they want everything. You don't need anything else. They all lied to Congress. They were cheaters. They were treasonous. There was treason. This seemed to be too much again for Ingraham, even though she has pressured Barr on the air to do her own bidding. However, she helpfully remained silent about the recent Senate Intelligence Committee report. Ingraham, but Bill Barr, you're saying, has to prosecute all these individuals to be a great attorney general? Trump, well, look, look Ingraham, I mean he's, he's Trump. I, I Ingraham, one of the most talented attorney generals that Trump, I will Ingraham, we've ever had? Trump, I'll let you know about that, and I really like him a lot, but I'll let you know about that, right now, if I just read the newspapers, even the bad ones, even the ones that are Ingraham, yes. Trump, fake news, there's a case, look, there was a 78-page report about Comey done by Horowitz. And I have to tell you, Inspector General Horowitz, I have to tell you, that report was one of the most brutal reports I've ever seen. Let's see what happens with it, the report on McCabe was one of the most brutal. I actually read them. Ingraham, yes. Trump, one of the most brutal reports I've ever seen. Let's see what happens with them, if I get another report, if I were a Democrat, this whole thing would have been so different. People would be in jail now, two years ago, for 50 year terms, because this was treason, this was subversion, this was the overthrow of a country, and instead of mentioning all the reasons to be suspicious of Trump's behavior toward Russia and how he has cut out to Russia and Russian President Vladimir Putin since taking office, Ingraham legitimized Trump's victimhood. Ingraham, have they ever stopped trying to take you out before the election, meaning, the protests, the impeachment? It's been a constant drumbeat Trump, well, the protests in Graham, from the beginning. Trump, were interesting because they thought the protests would be good for them because it's all Democrat stirred up and led, they thought, and it's in cities, they've lost control of it. They've actually lost control. They thought the protests would be good for them and it turned out to be very bad. Then Ingraham changed the subject to Melania Trump's rave reviews for her convention speech. More on Melania Trump in my next post. You can watch Trump openly pressure the US. Attorney General, without much challenge from a Fox host, to retaliate against James Comey, Andrew McCabe and maybe more from the Russia investigation below, from the September 1, 2020 The Ingraham Angle, let's block ads. Why? Show your love for him. Click the link in description. Thanks for watching.